Hey, how's it going? I pray you're doing well. One of the things that I would like to just remind you of and bring to your attention is that not only have so many signs, so many warnings have gone out from our Lord Jesus Christ about the times and seasons in which we live, there's also been warnings literally put out by the world. The world has been giving us warnings. Now, obviously, we do know that Jesus Christ, that Yeshua the Messiah, through the power of the Holy Spirit, from the authority of Abba Father in heaven from Yahweh, is allowed, is being allowed to have these things take place. He's the one opening the seals as we speak. And so we know that uh, the push, not only the push for the mark of the beast, but also to perpetuate the beast system has been going out for a while because these things must be put in place before the Antichrist takes his position of authority, position of power. So at the rapture of the church, because the mystery of lawlessness is already at work, work scripture tells us, that at the rapture, at the removal of the restrainer, the one who restrains the enemy at the removal is when the man of lawlessness will be revealed. And so we've seen so many things going on. And, you know, I have to admit that it is there's a lot of evidence that many things have been perpetuated. Not only the mark of the beast, which is very evident uh, over the past couple of years through pharmacia, through a toxin, we do see the seals that are being opened. However, we also see so many other things because, again, this is about full submission. Uh, we can see the famine, the man-made famine that has been perpetuated. We see that uh, even things as, as far as children's or baby formula and the, I believe, the perpetuation of uh, man-made drought because, again, this is to have all be fully submitted. If there's no food, if there's no water, if all these things start to put pressure on the people, it'll be easier for them to submit. When there's no baby formula, when there's no uh, food on the shelves, it'll be easier for them to submit, even those who have not taken the toxin. You know, the idea is to get everybody to submit. And so we must be wise in these final hours. I know this is, this, this is not a, uh, a, a new message for me. However, I still see in the comments, I still have people saying things that do not even align with Scripture. And we must understand that we are living in the final hours of humanity. That the rapture of the church, the herpaza, the catching away, is about to take place. Every indication, it really seems like it's the Feast of Trumpets of this year, which is just in a couple of weeks. Now, obviously, we are not 100% certain, but everything is pointing in that direction. So, if they are trying to get the beast system established and in place, we do see... Uh, the World Economic Forum, you know, they literally spelled out exactly what they're going to do. They want to control you. They want to control mankind. They want to be part of every aspect of your life, every move you make, every breath you take, so to speak, and obviously every purchase. And that's why the B system has got to be established. And when the toxin went out, the technology for the B system is already within the toxin. We do know that the number of the enemy is within the toxin. We do then know the name of our enemy is within the toxin. So we do know that this is, in fact, the mark of the beast. Now, will more come? Absolutely. There is more coming. So be prepared for those who are wishing to go into the tribulation or believe that they have to go into the tribulation. I'd prepare yourselves. But for those who are ready, ready and waiting for their Lord Jesus Christ, for their bridegroom, Prepare yourselves, prepare your hearts for the Lord's arrival, for the Lord's appearing in the clouds to remove those who are eagerly waiting for him, as scripture, as scripture has told us so many times again and again. But again, there is that final measure of grace for those who do go into the tribulation by not taking the mark and giving your life. I do believe right now, and I've said this on many occasions, if you have taken the mark of the beast, if you've taken the toxin, that if you... Ask if you repent and ask for forgiveness and ask the Lord to change you back to the way you were. I believe while we are still here, while the Holy Spirit, while the restrainer is still here, I believe that there is forgiveness and the Lord will heal you. I've seen the Lord heal people from blindness. He's healed my son from a debilitating disease when he was a child. 
He, on death's doorstep, he did not receive any pharmakia. He received prayer and was healed. So please, let us put our faith in Jesus Christ and not what the merchants are offering. Because scripture tells us that in the last days, merchants are going to fool people, deceive people with pharmakia. And I hope you know that that means pharmacy are things from pharmacy. And we do know that receiving of the mark, the receive is a dosage of pharmacy. So we do know that this is the mark of the beast. We must settle this because many are going on acting like, hey, look, there's, this is a precursor. There is no precursor ever called out in scripture. We must prepare ourselves. The end of all things is at hand. Look at the fires and the earthquakes and the volcanoes, sign after sign after sign, massive deaths of fish, massive deaths of birds, uh, water turning the blood. This is going on throughout the whole world. The economic collapse of other countries, we are shielded here in the U.S., but uh, there's a big province in, in China that, hey, look, if you haven't taken the mark or the toxin, so to speak, you cannot physically operate in at any capacity. It is here. Listen, I'm begging you. Listen and hear this message. Go before the Lord if you must. But we are in our final hours. Prepare yourself. Prepare your heart. Repent. Live a life of righteousness. Do not, do not confuse righteousness for works. They're not, they're not the same thing. Being righteous is that a devotion to your Lord and Savior, the one who loves you, the one who saved you. We are called to be righteous. Works is when you think your righteousness is what saves you. No, my friend, is the blood and belief in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross is what saves you. Our hour is near. Give your life fully to Jesus Christ before it's too late. The rapture is at any moment. I love you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.